Hey guys, welcome back to Machine Gun Mike. Today we're gonna to take a look at probably one of my favorite bolt action rifles ever made. It's this one right here, the German K98. So this rifle was adopted by the German Wehrmacht in 1935 as their primary service rifle, and it continued to be their primary service rifle until the end of World War II. They made a lot of different variants of this gun, suppressed variants, or variants that could be suppressed, paratrooper variants, and so on. And I think by the end of the war, they made something like 13, 14, 15 million of them, a lot of them. And because they made so many of them, and because the Russians primarily got so many of them after the war and then dispersed them all over the world, these guns are still popping up in major conflicts, even today. And it's a good gun, but it probably is still slightly outdated now. But just because they disperse it everywhere, they're still popping up and used today. So this gun right here, it looks like it's probably been refinished at some point in time. And also the stock does look like it was also sanded down a little bit, also at one point in time by a previous owner. But overall, it is in really, really good shape. Now if we take a look at the top of the receiver, you can see all of these serial numbers over here, 3770, and everything is numbered with it, and it's all matching. The 1940 is obviously the year that it was made. And that's kind of a cool thing about these guns, just like German guns like the Lugers, they were really into numbering everything. Honestly, it is really cool when you find a gun that's all matching numbers, but that's also a problem. It kind of makes it a nightmare for collectors when you've got a really nice looking gun and you don't have matching numbers, and besides that, it's a good gun, but just because you don't have those matching numbers, it can really drop the value. So it, it is a bit of a nightmare for collectors, but when you do find something like this that's in good shape, probably refinished, but it has all matching numbers, it really is something that you just want to enjoy and hold on to. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of shooting with it now. Okay guys, we have some steel set up down range at around 115 yards or so. I've been saying it's 80 yards in some of my previous videos. Turns out I've been wrong. Uh, a guy came out here and actually sighted it in. It's about 115, 120 yards. So anyways, we're gonna get the gun loaded up and see if I can hit it. That was five out of five. Obviously you couldn't seal the steel you couldn't see the steel target just then. So let's get another camera angle so you can. Nice. Yeah, this thing is accurate.
Cool, let's do one more. All right guys, so for the last shot, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get a shot of above the gun itself so you can see the action working. Awesome. All right, well, there you have it, guys, the German K98. You know, not only is it a really enjoyable gun to shoot, like you saw in the video, it's also really accurate. I think I actually hit the seal 20 out of 20 times. And, I mean, we're not super far away, but still 115 yards or so. And the gun's 70 years old, actually 76 years old. So that's impressive, if you really think about it. You know, and so it's a good gun to shoot. It's also a fun gun to collect. There's a lot of different ones out there. You can, different types of manufacturers, matching, non-matching, all that kind of stuff. And the cool thing about it is that unlike full auto, like a lot of my other videos, these guns are relatively cheap and attainable, not just here in the States, but also all over the world. And so that, that makes it kind of a nice gun for everybody to be able to enjoy. So anyways, with all that said, as always, hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please definitely subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash MachineGunMikeYouTube. And as always, have a nice day. I'll see you here next time.